I'm gonna give a tour box tour of my DIY kind of small engine automotive service toolbox. I'm not gonna really show my box because it's kind of a bunch of boxes. It's kind of like a homemade little thing I made. Uh, this part here you're looking at is obviously part of a US General cart that I added to this. Um, currently actually looking to upgrade and maybe even replace this all together. Uh, I'm looking at different options so but anyways right here is the hood of my US general cart right here I got some uh, hacksaw some little cheap Walmart lights air chucks tire inflator with a gauge on it and magnet trays I got a lot of them here's some other little adapters for my 3 8 drive up here is mostly my 3.8. This is a little Duralast set I bought. Uh, and these little adapters right here didn't come with it. I just, it's got a little convenient storage space for them. So I keep them in there. Uh, all of these are six point, which I like. So, but this is up top is pretty much all my 3.8 drive. I got extra ratchets and breaker bars up here. I got gear wrench ratchet and uh, another Duralast flex head. Here's some parts to a serpentine belt tool I got. Uh, some extra extensions, extra deeps. These are some USA Craftsman nut drivers that I got in high school about 18 years ago. I got the standard over here. I got metric over here. I got a little speed bar I've had for years and years. I use this kind of for small engines for reassembly of long bolts. Uh, and a little, this here's a little great neck ratchet I got at a small engine shop in high school. Uh, I've had it about 18 plus years. Some extra extensions spark plug sockets in here extra ones also got this stanley set that i use these and then those are kind of backups um so this is my pretty much my 3 8 drive right up here and then moving on down here i got standard wrenches there's not really anything fancy in here just you know some different gear wrench ratcheting wrenches some no name other wrenches with some cobalt and duralast replacements of ones i broke uh and flare nut wrenches or line wrenches in the back and same thing with this drawer pretty much same setup uh so there's not fancy these are just metric this here is kind of a all-purpose drawer got brake caliber tools a little small uh stubby and precision screwdrivers got regular screwdrivers here flips here i got some little short duralast sockets with this kind of a low profile pittsburgh thing with quarter inch and half uh three eighths on the same tool um of course tire gauge and then something to recharge the ac right there and this here is my half inch and quarter inch drive drawer these are all my shallows i got six and 12 point in those and then as far as deeps i'm just kind of buying them as i need them so because uh, i do more small agent work and sometimes the half inch unless you're working on lawn tractors but some things with cars i'm starting to get into just light maintenance stuff of my vehicle so i'm starting to buy more deeps so and this is my quarter inch duralast set it also has the shorts in the deep wells all in the same set which is pretty cool so and then extra extensions and a little gear wrench ratchet and a no name ratchet down here is kind of another little collect all uh i have some uh chemicals right there little bit drivers this here's other bits uh and i got this here which is kind of a little 
security tamper proof Torx right here with uh, I guess these are called inverted Torx or star sockets this set was at a wholesale place that sells wholesale tools for flea markets it's kind of like a no-name brand but they hold up pretty good I've had them for several years and I've used them a few times uh, they don't get used every day so I don't really consider them professional quality but uh, they helped me get the job done and for only $4 uh, I can't complain and then I got some little wire strippers I got this cobalt thing which has kind of been useless uh, this here is some adapters for my serpentine belt tool I got craftsman torque wrenches under there with a Pittsburgh uh, I got these Pittsburgh Allen wrench set right here with these Craftsman Torx and a little Harbor Freight rivet gun with rivets and uh, that's pretty much it on this bottom part here's the handle to my serpentine belt tool right here keep it on this magnet right there so coming on up we got some pass-through sockets they work good for my needs if I was getting paid with my money I would definitely consider upgrading especially from that set Stanley's part a little better but uh, for my needs considering they don't get used every day um, uh, they work good for me so Here's all my oil filter wrench stuff for taking off oil filters. There's my funnels. And in this one here is kind of a collect all container. It's got some little cobalt. These here came with a cobalt set that I still got. It's out in my wood shop. And uh, these little wrenches, I've never really used them. I'm sure they serve a purpose, but uh, and then I got tape and like electrical tape and nylon tapes and Teflon tapes. I got tubing benders from when I did a brake line job on my truck. So, oh, and I also got is brake line bleeders so I could bleed my brakes myself. So, there's a mighty bag. And uh, here's my gasket remover, picks, scrapers, brushes. Uh, a couple of my scrapers are in other toolboxes right now because I'm kind of outgrowing this little setup. So uh, this drawer is kind of probably self explanatory, mostly cleaning stuff. Uh, and this drawer here is all my snips, cutters, wire strippers, dikes whatever you want to call those um, side cuts fencing pliers Lyman's pliers I just upgraded these from the Harper Freight Pittsburgh to these I really like these better and here's all my files most of my files I got at yard sales and but they work good and then sandpapers and different stuff there right here Here's another collect all kind of all my drawers kind of are multi-purpose drawers this here's for uh, this here's for co uh, compressing the piston rings the compression and oil rings on a piston this here for taking out the valves and uh, on lawnmowers and Here's some snap ring pliers. This one was a freebie with a coupon at Harbor Freight. This one I bought at Rose Channel Lock brand. Um, then, of course, here's some different bit drivers and bits in there. These are new. I haven't really used these ones yet, but my other ones, the they're looking pretty dirty and the rubber was, wasn't home. But these are for valve lapping tools for seating valve seats on lawnmowers uh, and then of course allen wrenches and bits and different stuff here's some other bits that fits on into sockets 
this here is for helping to clean up the threads and spark plugs on lawnmowers uh, or magnetic threads um, these here for the little panel tools for doing the rivets plastic rivets here's all my pliers my long reach my cobalt adjustables needle nose of course regular wrenches my channel locks I really like I'm really starting to like the channel lock brand just because they're even on a budget you know buying one at a time or some of them on sale you can still afford them and uh, unlike some higher quality versions but I like I really like those so uh, and then I got these here also but uh, this is my plier drawer here's my hammer and chisel drawer it's not as organized as it normally is but uh, I can still get to everything down here the little area down here I got my impact sockets in here I got of course a heat gun I got some different air tools impact harbor freight grinders little air ratchet here's the electric impact I had before I got a air compressor here's a Napa uh, 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 flaring tool for your brake lines and here's another Mastercraft air tool set that has a uh, air hammer and a little air die grinder and also has another little speed ratchet and or air ratchet and impact driver so of course I got a little battery charger some stands on this side here I've made it so fit some C clamps and I got some monkey wrenches and pry bars on this side and I also got of course this crowbar for prying with I got other little pry bars on this side and then uh, of course you can't have a toolbox with duct tape nearby can't fix it duct tape it I don't know if I showed you the funnels yet there's nothing special about funnels I also got this backup set of tools that is Stanley so it's not a little bad set I throw a lot of extras in here I got extra uh, extensions hiding in here different places uh, the Allen keys wasn't that great and I kind of lost them which uh, I take my whenever I take this set I take my cobalt Allen wrenches anyways it's been a pretty nice set I've had this for probably almost 10 years now so it's kind of my backup set and then I got a cobalt 227 piece set out of my wood shop I used to keep in here but my wood shop kind of needed some tools for fixing and working on my equipment so but this is my automotive DIY small engine and automotive service kind of mostly self-taught or YouTube trained so I'm not a real professional but I kind of I do enjoy fixing my own stuff as I can and I hope you enjoyed have a good one